Alright, this is an update to my uh, Coran Horn dual phase lightsaber style uh, for Profi OS 4. So, um, this, uh, there's actually going to be two versions. There's one that's based on blade angle and there's one that's based on twist angle. Um, they're very similar, um, so I'm going to shoot them together. Um, so, in the Legends books, um, Coran Horn was a, a Jedi and he actually had a unique lightsaber. Um, it, would ha it had two crystals in it, so his primary blade was a purple blade. Um, but then by turning his hilt, he actually had it so that it would change from the purple crystal and purple blade to a silver crystal silver blade. Um, in the books, obviously, the, uh, the length of the silver blade was longer, which gave him an advantage. Um, but uh, obviously we can't do that with NeoPixel, but we can do that transition. So on both styles, I'm using a wipe. Um, so it's meant to be as if that crystal really did change. Um, and then the, the power of the silver overtakes the purple or vice versa. Um, you can change the transition if you want. Now, this is using the new responsive transition. So um, the transition, that wipe speed, is actually based uh, either on blade angle for the first style, twist angle for the second. Um, and I've said it so that if your blade is facing straight up, it's going to be its fastest wipe. If it's straight down, it'll be the slowest wipe. And then everywhere in between, it responds. So it's not a one or two. It's actually the speed, every little subtle change in angle changes that speed. So you get a different effect each time. Um, similar with twist angle, um, but let me show the, the first one. So it's going to start out as a purple blade. And then with this purple blade now, we get the, um, all of the responsive effects. So you get the responsive blast. So that blast location moves based on the angle of your blade. Um, so instead of being random, it's actually going to respond to that angle. You also have now responsive clash. Similarly, that clash location will be based on blade angle, um, which then leads to the responsive lockup. So that localized lockup location is going to match that clash location based on blade angle. And then as you move your blade, it'll actually slide along that blade. So as I move defensively, that lockup location moves down. As I move towards my opponent, it moves up. And you control that just by moving your hilt, uh, moving your blade. Um, and then with OS4, we do get the new lightning block. Um, so lightning block is also responsive. So with lightning block, if you turn your belt, you can actually increase or decrease the intensity of the lightning attack. And then as you move your blade up, it will actually focus that lightning attack as if you were really trying to uh, return it to the sender. Um, and then we also now have uh, melt, which is also responsive. So melt is going to be like cutting through a blast door. And turning your hilt will change the temperature of that material. So it'll start, you can go from a yellow orange to a red just by turning your hilt. So it really gives you that effect of heating up the material. Um, and then we do have the responsive drag. So the, dra the size of the drag is going to be based on turning your hilt. So you can turn it and make it a smaller area or a larger drag area. Um, and then now for the, the dual phase. So dual phase for these blades is using color change, um, but it's only going to go from one color to the other. So it's going to go from purple to silver and then back. Um, and then, like I said, this is using responsive transition. So that speed, so if I have that blade facing mostly up, that wipe will be really quick. Um, now, if I have it facing down, it will actually be a slower wipe. Now they're still pretty quick, I didn't want to overextend the time because it, it kind of takes away from the effect, but you can change all the settings. So if you wanted it to be um, a, a even faster or even slower, you would just change that in the style. Uh, but now you get that the ability on this version for the blade angle to control the speed of that change from one blade to the other. So the up would be the absolute fastest. So that's the first version. So that version uses the change from purple to silver um, based on blade angle. And then I have a second version. Um, this version, everything's going to be the same. The difference is the speed of that wipe is actually based on turning your hilt. So the blade, all the effects and everything are identical. But now the speed of that wipe will be based. So that was the slower. So if I turn my hilt a little now, it'll pick up speed. And it's based on the 360 degree turn. 
so you can get faster or slower changes by turning your hilt. So you can choose either version, um, and again, you can also change the different settings. Um, but now using those responsive transitions, um, you can either choose the, the, the control for responsive to be blade angle or uh, twist angle. So there's two versions of this same style that will be in the library. Now, the OS4 library is in, for, is in the works. Once OS4 releases that library, I'm hoping to have done, it'll be released, so all the style code will be there. Uh, still a lot of testing um, and working on stuff, but uh, now that responsive transitions are also working, um, I'm going to be creating styles that incorporate those as well. Um, so lots more to come. I uh, hope you enjoy.